everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I'm going to take here a look at the three big earnings that are out this week. It's Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Microsoft reports right after the close and then Amazon and Google Thursday night. So I thought I'd look at these three charts here tonight before anything happens and kind of get a gauge here on what we could possibly expect. So let's look at Microsoft. Okay, so the previous sign Microsoft was 116.18 this stock has been so strong. Look at it. This red line is a 200 pair moving average. This stock has not been anywhere near that 200 pair moving average. Woo! Look at it all the way, 2016. So the stock has been almost power trending, really toe to toe with the market. In fact, I would say that this looks even stronger than the market. So I have to wait and see where it gaps, but I can tell you one thing it's definitely going to gap. It could gap up, it could gap down, and then my process is I rate the gap. Now I could rate it tomorrow night, but I will probably wait until Thursday morning because I like to wait to the morning because the prices could change. But if this stock does gap down, okay, and if it rates well, I'm telling you that it could absolutely fall off a planet because of the fact that it is so strong and it has so many people in it, so many buyers in here, so many longs. However, that being said, um, it also could make new highs, in which case it could explode. So it'll be really interesting to see what Microsoft does. This is a top, top watch this week. Um, you, you, you may not trade this stock all the time, but it, you, know, you should watch it. I mean, it's one of the stocks in the market that does affect the market, and it affects the sector as well, which is important in the market, that sector. Now let's take a look at Google, which is... Thursday night. Google and Amazon are both Thursday night. Google has looked horrible, horrible for the better part of the summer from since July it made new highs. It has drifted off ever since then. It's almost gone nowhere and the market's made new highs. I know that in my head before bringing the chart up here, but I'll show you in a second. Okay. Had the rally today with the market into the close. Anyways, Google has a, actually hasn't looked good all year. Failed in the earnings back early in the year. Dropped, fell. Man, this cannot get its butt moving this whole year. Google has looked like a piece of crap almost. I mean, it's in an uptrend, but compared to everything else, it's like, what? That was very interesting. So here is, here, here we go. Google opened on the, on the year, 2018 at 1048.34 this morning. <laughs> It was at 1070. That's insanity. There, just what I said. So this had only a 25 point gain here at one point this morning from looking at almost the entire year. Remember, it's to the end of October, from January to now. Like I said, this stock has been trading like a piece of crap all year. So this is a top watch too. This is a top watch too. And this stock could move the market in the sector as well. Let's look at Amazon. And again, I don't know how these things gap. I don't know if they gap up or down. Just taking a look here and seeing what's happening in these charts recently, particularly after today. Now, Amazon, of course, is a beast. I think the previous high in this was around 2050-ish. Broke that 2,000 level, but I mean, that was a crazy level anyways. Very strong. And you can see here in this compared to Google, not so strong compared to Google. But you can also see this compared to Microsoft. Microsoft looks a lot better. So if you're looking at Microsoft, Google, and Amazon, if I had to put them in, a, put them in order, which chart looks better? <laughs> which of these things is not like the other? Microsoft is stronger than Amazon, then two would be Amazon, and three would be Google. They're all in uptrends. Now, obviously, none of this has anything to do with the, how the reports come out because I don't know, but I'm just saying those are things to keep in mind when you're watching the stocks, when you see the gaps after the earnings, which Microsoft is Wednesday night, and then you will have Amazon and Google the next day. So I think, I think, I think the market's going to have a big move Friday, and, you know, we're just going to have to wait and see what effect these earnings do have on the market from Thursday night into where the market gaps on Friday morning and the GDP numbers out Friday morning too. So Friday's a big day for the market if you're watching the market. Good luck, everyone. 
and have a great week.